hey there if you like my videos please like comment share and subscribe here we will discuss about how does the tooth develop so the development of tooth is called as odontogenesis which is derived from the greek word if we will divide the word into odors and genesis odors means teeth and genesis is to produce Now during the embryo development there is developing phase in oral cavity so if we will take a picture of the developing embryo this is the forebrain and this is the foregut and here is the stomodium now stomodium is also called as the primitive oral cavity yet developing and it is lined by stratified squamous epithelium also called as the oral ectoderm or primitive oral epithelium which is 2 to 3 cell layer thick Now the oral ectoderm contacts the endoderm of the foregut to form the buccopharyngeal membrane. At 27th day of gestation period or the pregnancy, the buccopharyngeal membrane ruptures and the primitive oral cavity establishes the connection with the foregut. Now if you look at the epithelial ectomesenchymal interaction this is the oral ectoderm and it is derived from the ectoderm from the first pharyngeal arch these are the connective tissue cells or the ectomesenchymal cells these are neural crystal origin and primarily derived from the ectoderm but they eventually give rise to mesenchymal tissues so that's why called as the ectomesenchymal cells now these ectomesenchymal cells what do they do they induce or they instruct the overlying epithelium to start the tooth development so they kind of signal them or induce them to proliferate for the further development Now at the 6th week certain areas of the basal cells of the oral ectoderm they proliferate and form a band like structure which is called as the primary epithelial band here the epithelial cells are in continuous form and this continuous band of the epithelial cells they form a horseshoe structure now at 7th week the primary epithelial band divides into inner lingual process and outer vestibular process inner lingual process is called as the dental lamina which serve as the primordium for the ectodermal portion of the deciduous tooth Now as soon as the dental lamina forms the leaf furrow band formation occurs and the cells rapidly enlarge and then degenerate to form the cleft that becomes vestibule between the cheek and the tooth bearing area On the other hand at 8 week plate like round or ovoid thickening of the ectoderm occurs corresponding to the location of the deciduous tooth and the ectomesenchymal cells accumulate around the outgrowth of the dental lamina this is called the ectomesenchymal condensation now here the distal proliferation of the dental lamina is responsible for the location of germs of permanent molars which is ramus of mandible or the tuberosity of maxilla 
and the lingual extension is the successional lamina which is for the incisors canine and premolars now the fate of the dental lamina it remains active up to five years and still be active at third molar region and the remnants of the dental lamina are called as cell rest of serous which is very important from the exam point of view or especially in viva so this was the initiation of the tooth development in my next video we'll deal with the bird stays and cap stays so please press the bell icon for the notifications